Well, meanwhile, Minnesota's 2020 legislative session is now underway. And already the debate has begun as the DFL and Republicans battle over how to spend the state's $1.3 billion budget surplus. Esme Murphy was there for a busy first day. She joins us now from the Capitol. Hi, Esme. Hi there, Amelia. I can tell you this. Republicans want to give much of that surplus back in the form of tax cuts. Democrats want to see a one-time spending bill of half a billion dollars for accessible pre-K and also daycare. That is just the beginning of the differences. With the bang of her gavel, Minnesota House Speaker Melissa Hortman called the House into session. Outside the Senate chamber, the gun control advocacy group Minnesota Moms Demand Action cheered pro-gun control legislators, saying they are sending a warning to the Republican-controlled Senate. You know, if they don't do the right thing, then we are prepared to work really hard to put people into the legislature who will in 2020. It's not about the gun rights supporters offered their own warning. So they may be rallying their people to vote people out for standing up for gun rights. We will do exactly the same for anybody who attacks our God-given, constitutionally guaranteed right to bear arms. President. Inside the chamber, the Senate Majority Leader said Minnesotans deserve tax cuts. His priority, eliminating Minnesota state taxes on Social Security benefits. The average Minnesota senior thinks that we should exempt that. We're only one of a couple handful of states that actually taxes Social Security, so that's going to be our biggest one. In the House, the House Speaker and House Majority Leader made it clear their priority is a one-time half a billion dollars in spending for Minnesota's youngest. Let's invest where we can be the most impactful. You're only three once, you're only four once, and if we get you off to a great start when you're three or four, you carry that benefit with you for the rest of your life. So I think that is one area we... Now, those differences that we saw continue into an issue that appears to be on the fast track here at the Capitol, and that is some form of emergency insulin program for people who cannot afford that life-saving medication. There were already two hearings on that issue today, the very first day of the session, and coming up at 6, we'll have an in-depth look at that issue here at the Capitol. All right, looking forward to that. Thank you, Esme. And stay with WCCO and CBSN Minnesota. The 2020 session wraps up May 18th.